Now, should Smollett ultimately face criminal charges, we know who won't be prosecuting him. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox on the left there. Her predecessor, Anita Alvarez on the right, lashing out at that decision. She spoke exclusively to two investigator Brad Edwards. You have been out of office and virtually off the radar for two years. I have been. Your statement drops a hammer on the current state's attorney, Kim Fox. It does. And you lost to her, and some might see this and say, well, that looks a lot like sour grapes. I've been out of office for two years. It's not about sour grapes. It's about doing your job. It's about doing the job that the citizens of Cook County elected you to do. And I don't believe she's doing her job. You have recused yourself in big cases, none bigger than... Officer Van Dyke, accused and now convicted of murdering Laquan McDonald. What do you say to that? Well, remember, Brad, I am the one who charged Officer Van Dyke. I charged that case. I did the investigation with the feds. I didn't recuse myself till after I lost the election. And Officer Van Dyke, where is he now? He's been convicted. Next question. State's Attorney Kim Fox says she's recusing herself from the case, but her office will still handle it. Well, I find that um, interesting. Have you ever recused yourself and not your office? No, no. But Kim Fox in this case is recusing herself, yet saying her office will still handle it. Right, and the person that she put in charge is her first assistant. And he reports to who? To the state's attorney. I feel that if she was gonna recuse herself, she should have done it from the very get-go. There didn't seem to be a problem when he was the alleged victim. Now the decision has to be made whether or not Mr. Smollett's gonna be charged, and suddenly she's throwing up her hands and she's saying, oh, but I have a conflict. I think the public needs to know what is the actual conflict. If you recuse yourself, then you tell them what the conflict is. And, and she hasn't done that. She did uh, late this afternoon, her spokesperson. That conflict, the spokesperson said, was Miss Fox spoke with a relative of Smollett and got them to CPD. Two former prosecutors I talked to showed the full Fox reasoning statement to. Both used the same word to describe the reasoning and the recusal. That word, weak. In the newsroom, Brad Edwards, CBS 2 Investigators. Rob. So why was today the day that Anita Alvarez decided she was going to say something about her successor? I mean, that's a pretty good question. I Obviously, Kim Fox won on a criminal justice reform, a bond reform platform. Uh, but we haven't heard a lot from Ms. Fox on criminal justice. This is the biggest case she could possibly get, and it screams for criminal justice. And she recuses herself. And I think that was the tipping point for Miss Alvarez. Okay. Brad Edwards, live in the newsroom. Thank you. We've been investigating and breaking news in this investigation for days. You can catch up on all of our coverage. It's on our website or on your mobile phone, cbschicago.com slash Smollett.